So come check out my crib. This is a bit like a MTV sort of thing. Anyway, this is uh, people ask me, you know, can you do a little MTV cribs thing? So this is a new house in Thailand. A uh, bit about me. Um, you know, not long ago I was living on welfare and uh, basically learned three things. And I'm going to show you three things in this video. <laughs> One of them is Thailand's fucking awesome. Two is if you've got goals, work at them, wake up with the bird song. And that's what basically I do every morning is like when the birds sing, then I'll wake up. I might lay in bed for a little bit just thinking about what are we going to do next, prioritize, etc. Third thing is, uh, I'll tell you the third thing at the end of the video. But we're talking about also, so what do you think? We'll go there. Like just, I'll just talk as we go. Slander versus libel versus fair usage laws. There's a lot of discussion about what determines fair usage laws. Now, I'll tell you what fair usage is. Fair usage is, let's say, I've got this Adidas shirt on here, and I'm like, I do a video about it saying, you know, the Adidas shirt, the quality's good, but the cut's not what I wanted, blah, blah, blah. And I use the Adidas logo. That's fair usage. Uh, non fair usage. Whoa, fucking hell. That's one thing in Thailand is everything's so fucking short here. Just six foot two like me to get a problem. Um, I need to do some cleaning in this place. But yeah, so but if I do an Atlas advert, or if I use an Atlas advert saying Atlas is bullshit, blah, 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 and I do slanderous stuff, and I say the person from Atlas has got HIV, the person from Atlas is in a sex scandal, the person from Atlas is like, you know, of sexual whatever, that's not fair usage. So what happened recently is YouTube did a clean up of a couple of channels who were just being slanderous towards me and Freely because it wasn't fair usage. Big difference between fair usage and slanderous, libel. So let's just say if you're, how's the lighting on this, can we see? Let's just say that your um, brother or your sister well, had a YouTube channel and they did some videos and then some troll used their content and says, oh, this person looks like they've got HIV or cancer or whatever, or they've had a sex change operation or they're, you know, they're with lady boys. Would you like that? You wouldn't say that. Oh, that's fair usage. And then their channel got deleted. You wouldn't say, oh, yeah, like, that was unfair. You'd be like, fucking good. That's like slander. That's like, that's not what YouTube's about. YouTube's a community where people can come to give and share. It's not a place where you come and fucking say, you know, like people often say, like, oh, but, you know, blogger ladies was bad for trying to get Freely's channel down. And that was right, but Freely wasn't saying that blogger ladies had, you know, certain diseases or whatever. She was just basically saying the diet sucks. That's fair usage. That's not slanderous. Saying that starving yourself is bad for your metabolism isn't fucking slander. It's human physiology. It's truth. S excuse me while I look down the stairs so I don't fucking fall, break my neck. Some people are saying, I hope you do break your neck. Oh, I've got to dodge this one. Fuck. That is, that's going to be bad for the YouTube house. Well, I'm going to have to have short people. Is this little thing just here? It's like a little caterpillar. That's pretty rad. They crawl all the way up here and they hatch into moss. There's a whole ceiling full of them. But that's, that's the difference. So... What do I feel the fair usage drama that's going on? I think it's good that YouTube's cleaning stuff up. YouTube's been purging subscribers lately. A lot, a lot of channels like PewDiePie lost over, over 700,000 subs now because they're getting rid of all accounts. YouTube's really cleaning up their act and it's good in a way. It's still nothing perfect. Nothing's perfect. Nothing's perfect in the world. That's where they're, they're going to be. We're going to have smoothies, just boom. 20, not 24 hour, 12 hour smoothies. And we've got a pool table here. But. That's just how it rolls, man. So if you want to slander people with libel and shit and say people have got fucking certain diseases, and that's this is, this is really cool. This is where we really get to see the, the, the rough, the fucking the shit cunts from the legit cunts. When, when someone does a video saying, you know, Duran Riders, the only reason why Duran Riders so lean because he's got HIV or Freely's like, Freely's a lesbian or whatever, nothing wrong with being a lesbian. But they, you know, then all this like homophobic, transphobic crap out there, that's really shit. And that's not what YouTube's about. If you can't contribute positive content, then why be here? Just to troll? Just to make money off men Freely's hard work? We don't mind people making money, but when you're gonna try and make money by slandering, then what do you expect, man? What do you expect? So this is an example of like, I've spoken with lawyers about this and they're like, you know, fair usage is different to slanderous. So if you use someone's brains and critique her, 
that's okay, like we do what, what we do all the time and what people do with us all the time, and that's fine, there's no issue with that. But when you make up slander and then use our content and say, oh, this is just fair usage, that's not fucking fair usage. That, my friends, in the court of law is slander, it's libel, it's defamation. It's defamation 100%. So there's no gray area, that's black and white. Would we ever put someone in prison for that? Nah, you know, but when YouTube, you know, takes care of that, then we're like, well, play by the rules or, or get off. That's just how it is. Um, play by the rules and just don't be a shit cunt. It's fine to, to have different opinions, but to make up stories of slander, would you like it if someone said you had HIV or cancer or you're talking about your sexual uh, you know, preferences or whatever online or making up stories that you killed your dog, you killed your goldfish, you killed your neighbor or all this sort of personal stuff. You wouldn't like it. You wouldn't like it at all. You would not be able to handle it. I mean, Freely can handle it because we've got thick skins and we're more about the animals and, and the planet and there's the vegan putting the vegan message out there. Yes, it's a little bit irritating sometimes when the trolls say the really nasty shit. But that's just the internet. But it's good because it clarifies who's your friend and who's your foe. Who we want to support and who we don't want to support. Let us know down below. And what do you think of the pool? This is going to be packed with the vegan YouTube crew, potentially. Just doing some uh, negotiations here with the the agents, but uh, it's a nice spot. Can you guess where I am? What part of, am I in Myanmar? Am I in Thailand? Am I in Laos? Actually, no, I'm in Thailand, aren't I? I said that. But the third part, I was gonna say the video, the third thing that I've learned is who we hang around is who we become. So if you wanna excel, then raise, if you wanna excel in life, anything in life, then you have to raise expectation of your peer group. So make sure your peer group is getting the results you desire. Who we hang around is who we become. If you wanna fly like an eagle, why the fuck hang around turkeys? Sorry, turkeys.